everything you just saw was shot on the Sony A7S Mark II. That was 120 frames per second, it's buttery, it's smooth, and that's not the only trick this camera's got. It's a full frame, 4K, high ISO, low light beast. I'm sure you noticed that 28 to 135 lens the camera's hanging off the back of, and that is a fun lens. It has a power zoom, suddenly your DSLR becomes a camcorder with cinematic qualities. It took me back 15 years shooting with the Sony VX2000. That camera was a ton of fun as well. This one's got quite the upper hand on it. There's a ton of cameras on the market right now that can shoot internal 4K. But what really breaks this camera apart from the others is the high ISO. You can take a look for yourself at these capabilities. Right here we're looking at 400 ISO, now 4000, now 40,000, now a little bit over 400,000. You can see you can try to fix it up a little bit with a denoiser, but really it's not usable. Uh, but it is an amazing feature. If you need to see in the dark, you can do that. Um, keep in mind, this is with an f4, so if you had a lens that was able to open up more, you're going to get a lot more brightness out of those ISOs. Sitting at 40,000, you're going to get a much brighter image, and it does not have grain, so it's definitely amazing. That's the technology that's in this camera that makes it so you're not going to be waiting for Mark III of this camera. It has it all. I never get super pumped up about zoom lenses. I always shoot with fixed lens. I love something in 1.4, somewhere in that F range. I love a big blurry background. This lens certainly doesn't have a problem capturing light with that high ISO, but the characteristics are a little bit different than what I'm used to. That being said, if you love to just go and shoot a lot documentary style, you're going to go and do work for clients. This is a quick, quick operating lens. You can go and you can make your decisions quickly and you don't need to start focusing on shot lists when you can create that on the go. So absolutely love that about this zoom lens and you're going to have no problem capturing light, that's for sure. One of the huge selling points which makes everyone think this camera is cinematic is it has S-Log3. S-Log3 is a picture profile on the camera that allows you to capture the large dynamics that this camera has the capabilities of. So you're gonna capture all the detail in your shadows and it sounds really exciting. But when you sit down with this file, you're gonna actually discover that the 8-bit file is not gonna allow you to have control over editing it as much as you would like. Um, as you can see in some of these files, there's just a blue rainbow going across, it's banding, it's not great. It doesn't hold up the way you'd really expect it to. Um, and that made me immediately want to start messing with different picture profiles. And ultimately, I started shooting in landscape mode because Sony has amazing in-camera images. If you're really focused on keeping all of the detail that's possible, you might want to invest in getting an external recorder and going up to a 10-bit and you'll have more control. But if you're more interested in crushing your blacks and your shadows and making it more dramatic looking, just shoot in camera, this camera blew me away. You don't need to focus on having that flat image for every type of project. You can shoot a really great in-camera image and you're gonna be able to go into post and you're gonna have a lot of control over how you want it to look in your final product, but you're not gonna to have to worry about blowing out highlights, you're not gonna to have to worry about banding, so it really depends on what your goal is with your project. There's certainly little complaints about this camera. You can't flip the LCD screen to have something on the back. So when you're looking through the viewfinder, you're gonna leave little cheek marks, little things like that. Battery life is not great. Uh, I had three batteries with me, I used them. There was a bit of a learning curve with this camera, but most cameras do have that. And I just think that if you're really interested in expediting the creative process, a zoom lens like this, you're gonna get cinema quality. It's not fully cinematic, but it is quick, it's sexy images. I got images that I can't really replicate with other cameras. And I think that if you purchase this one, you really don't need to worry about Mark III. 
The features that's going to offer are going to be amazing as well, but this camera already does everything that you need and you can start focusing on your storytelling. You can focus on maybe saving up more for some crazy glass. Hope you liked uh, the review on this camera. There's plenty more to come. If you haven't already, I definitely go check out Art of Visuals on Instagram. Have an incredible community out there. And there's also some links to get some presets to get some seriously moody images. There's also AOV film for filmmakers. And you're gonna find something new every day. It's amazing, the content that's coming out of here right now. That's all I got for you today. My name is Dustin Bigovich with Art of Visuals. Be visually inspired, guys. Mm -hmm.